Let's see if he overstayed. Ooh, hello, my man. So it's pretty easy. We pump numbers into him, ignore the buff. He's jumping, we're tracking, boom, dead. What is up beautiful people, it's Celadin here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Freya against Honor in rank duel 1 versus 1. We're grabbing Bracer here, we're gonna go start with a Hunter's Blessing. I know Attacker's Blessing is a better choice, but this game I want to start off with the Hunters. I feel like this a little bit extra attack speed is gonna help us a lot. We're gonna ward up over here quite far, so hopefully Honor won't try to steal our speed buff. I want that speed buff because I feel like our sustain is fine and that little bit of attack speed will help us with our clear and damage and also will allow us to maneuver around honor who is pretty scary early game for us so we'll try to avoid fighting him as much as we can hopefully this man is not taking my blue buff I mean he is we cannot fight him at this point so if he's taking the blue buff he's taking the blue buff oh yeah he's definitely taking my fucking blue buff what an asshole we're gonna push this wave as fast as we can and probably go for his blue buff when he tries to take it he went the safe route yeah he got the blue so that means we are getting the timer over here and getting our contested xp Oh, come on, the timer. What the hell? I literally saw it and the timer then went down. Whatever. So we're taking that contested XP and now we're gonna mess around his blue buff. At least grab the minis. Got the minis, okay. Those give like negative amounts of experience. Popping my one as well. I uh, should have timed with the second shot to the wall. Did not succeed with applying a little bit more poke as well. That's unfortunate. We're running out of mana, but we still have pot sticking. Plus, uh, Hunter's Blessing, I feel like we're not running out of mana too fast. This pillar placement is weird. Doesn't really accomplish anything. Let's poke him out a little bit. He has to jump, okay. Little did he know, we don't really want to fight him. I don't understand why he's so passive, but we can't fight him. I guess he doesn't know that. Trying to be careful here. So in case you don't know, we both are under experience right now. We should be both level 5 by now. At level 5, he's jumping in. Yeah, there he goes. Another weird pillar. Oh my god, in panic, I didn't put my, a point into my ultimate. <laughs> That's insane. It's very good for me that he didn't know that. How did I put the point in my two? Oh, this is so bad. This is gonna backfire. Oh, that's his stun. I cannot do it fast enough in his presence, so let's just try and poke him out and lifesteal off of that. Okay, that's his ult. I missed my whoop, obviously he's immune, but that's his ult, so he's not a lot of danger to me anymore. But the fact that I didn't put the point into my ultimate is very stupid. I can die here very easily if he was aware that I cannot immune his jump and stun. <laughs> I would have been dead a long time. Ah, oh, the blue buff is coming up. Hopefully he's not coming here to steal it. That'll be an asshole move, but completely justified. Thankfully, I worded it. Trying to get that experience of a tower. Apparently, the range isn't there, so we just miss one minion. It's fine. Gonna push this out. We finally have our ultimate. I derped big time by not putting a point into it. Uh, good idea would be have full Bancross, but I'm not gonna risk it and overstay. I'm just gonna back for full boots. If I overstay, gonna give him a lot of advantages. He should have full transcendence by now. I'm gonna drop this, we're not gonna pick it up. We have blue buff now. Still putting points into my two. He's missing. We're gonna freeze up here a little bit. 
mid camp should be up yeah he's doing these Let he missed a bunch of minions he'll have to go around i think so he's still missing some wave uh, i think he's missing that one as well yeah he did that's fine Ooh, that's bad missing whoops is not allowed in duel he's gonna use this too here oh he's jumping in huh okay okay i do more damage than you my man that's his bracer oh shit tried to whoop him but his stun range be first and my animations didn't go through at least we could have been cc'd simultaneously but nah that's very unfortunate for me that's what i'm talking about i cannot really fight him in the early game uh we're now almost a k behind that's a lot for duel but it's fine uh he's like top tier god mostly let's see if he overstayed oh hello my man so it's pretty easy we pump numbers into him ignore the buff is jumping we're tracking boom dead pretty good fight for us we are almost the same gold i'm actually ahead in experience which is insane his blue buff isn't coming up but mine's coming up so let's grab that we picked up the red buff so we deal a significant amount of damage now and what I was saying is that Honor is actually, well, probably one of the five, six uh, strongest gods in the duel as a whole. Probably like S plus tier. And I personally feel like Freya is no longer that strong. She is like A plus. Very, very big stretch for S tier at best. And... We still have a lot of chance to win. We're gonna definitely win this, I mean. But like, <laughs> in case we don't, that's honor over there. So it's totally fine. We're just having fun here. I have enough gold for full bankrupts, but I really want to push this out. Okay, he's here. Can we fight? I'll just harass him. I want to bait the jump before we actually commit into the fight. If I manage to dodge his jump on the landing, we have a very, very good opportunity to box. That's my two activated, so my clear is suffering. This is very weird uh, pillar placement. The best he can get with each pillar is just block one of my autos, which is annoying, but really doesn't do a whole lot. He is clearing the mid camp. Uh, we're pretty even, both gold wise and XP. Oh, hello! Let's fight. We can fight here. Nah, he doesn't want to fight for some reason, huh? How tragic. We're gonna. I cannot back. I want to. I want this wave. I don't want to miss any experience. Is he jumping? Well, <laughs> the pillar placements finally backfired at this man. He reached the point when he blocks his own uh, attacks, so I don't know anymore. Those pillars really don't do a lot. He's grabbing that tower. I'm gonna give it to him. I really need those bankrupts. I decided to ignore defense for a little bit. We're gonna grab one of those ranks for penetration. And I'm probably gonna check out how long I can go around without defense. I mean, with the amount of damage I'm gonna be dealing soon, I can kill him before any damage actually gets into me, so maybe... I won't have a need for defense. We'll check that out later. Blue buff's coming up. Let's drop it. I'm gonna pick it up because I feel like um, red buff should probably be down. Is he actually doing this? No, it's fine. We're gonna word it up with a little word for now. I'm gonna grab an actual word later. I don't know where he is, probably doing some buffs, so we're gonna miss him out on some of that experience. Nothing else on the map for me to grab anyway. There he is. Nah, he's not gonna miss anything else, so we're just gonna straight up start pushing. Go. 
So he got Runic Shield, but that's a little bit late for Runic Shield anymore. He should have gone for some actual defense. Uh, Runic Shield is pretty broken against magical characters, but it's only if you build it immediately. Right now, I have enough power for Runic Shield. Chipping away 50 off of that is quite annoying, but doesn't really do much anymore, especially with the stacked up Bancrofts. I'm gonna have almost 300 power, so that 50 doesn't do a whole lot. Nope, he's not. We're just gonna ward it up, just make sure. Looks like he's doing some buffs. That's half a wave missed for him. Oh, there he comes. I don't think he missed that last one, so it's fine. Good whoop. Gonna deal some damage. Okay, another pillar. I mean, like, he has that ability and pretty good mana. Oh, there he jumps. I was in a bad spot, so I had to ult for immunity. Otherwise, we might have take too much damage. He would have landed me into a wall. I don't have beats, so I decided not to face tank his all ultimate. Since he have runic shield, I decided to go with the penetration ring first because... Well, his uh, defense is more than default right now. This annoying man is grabbing my blue buff. Nothing I can do about that. I need that wave experience secured. He's missing. Oh, there he is. Good stun. I can box you. I do a lot more damage than you think. Ooh, good ult cancel. Thorns. We brace her. He's dead. That was a good fight. I mean, he did everything right. He just didn't anticipate the amounts of damage I do right now. I have penetration, full Bancrofts, uh, stacked up Hunter's Blessing. And I'm Freya, by the way. Hello. Wanna push out this wave so the minions keep dealing damage. I don't think we grab a Phoenix off of that, but that's definitely a tower. We're gonna grab red buff as well, and I feel like from this point on, he's in deep trouble. I finally reached the point where I can fight him confidently, and that's the place he shouldn't have reached. He didn't escalate his pressure from the early game, where I couldn't fight him entirely, and now we're on the even ground, and Frey is scary. Okay, we're fighting here. Good pillar, blocked a total of one of my attacks. He's gonna jump on me, he did jump, he's dead now, he cannot, he cannot do anything. Well, as long as I hit my odd attacks, let's ult here, I don't want him to get away. My shit's on cooldown, so let's just secure him with an ult, yeah. I don't have, it's just 15, we don't have enough time to take down the phoenix, so we're gonna go straight for the bull demon. Gonna ward up here, just in case he decides to ignore the wave and run straight for me. Actually, he had like no chance to reach me, no matter what. But better safe than sorry, right? I didn't anticipate the amounts of damage I did to that objective right now, it's insane. I'm opting for more lifesteal since he doesn't have anti-heal still. Looks like the one he's grabbing right now is gonna be Pestilence, which is not a lot of anti-heal. I have now triple lifesteal. Anti-heal can really fuck me up here if he goes for like Toxic Blade that he should. Or Brawl that is Beastie given, but looks like he decides to be lazy about it and just go Pestilence. Which is not going to help him for another two items, and I don't think he has that much time. Oh, there you go. Let's whoop him. Good hit. He wasted his jump, so we're in a good spot now when my ability comes up. Let's get close and personal. Okay, that's Thorns, but we still like stealing more than he has. Let's grab his Bracer. No, he didn't Bracer. Hmm, good discipline. What me missing my ult as well, actually. Not that hard, but... Without me having an ult... Oh, that's his jump, so we're kind of safe here. Let's just stall him a little bit. Clear this wave. Oh, he's like panicking a little bit. Good damage. We have an Aegis for that. I can still fight him. No, Phoenix came up. 
I, even if it didn't, I would have died anyway. But it's fine. It's really low. Couple hits away. We're gonna grab it next push. And since he still doesn't have any uh, anti-heal, the next fight is gonna go just as well for us. Oh, he lazy bagged, but I wasn't close enough. Oh, that would have been so good if I was able to just get him stuck into a fight. Uh, my minions would have pushed up on themselves and I just grab a Phoenix for free. But I think him wasting time on my speed buff. Nope, Red's actually down. That's unfortunate. We have no uh, buffs at all. Which is an unfortunate situation right here. But since he's so far and probably circling around buffs, we're just gonna waste a little bit of gold and experience for him here. Force him into the middle of the map and now we fight. Now that his jump is wasted, if I get close to him, he might be in trouble. Good stun. Okay, we have our shit up. He cannot fight. Let's ult out. That's his thorns. Huh. I mean, I plan to heal up on the wave a little bit, but he thorns to prevent that. But I don't think that was what he was doing. He actually... Uh, he's going straight for bull demon and we're gonna go there as well. There he goes, that's a good whoop, mid jump too, he's very low. Looks like he's panicking, he doesn't want to fight, he's just running, but you cannot run. Let's drop this bull demon instead. I mean, this is gonna secure the phoenix, we can just back and grab it. I'm not gonna be silly about it and just run for the phoenix and suicide for it. I'm just gonna secure everything over here. Uh, grab the red buff, I'm pretty sure he ignored it and went straight for the bull demon. So we're gonna have a red buff for the next fight. We have his phoenix disabled and we gotta push up the wave. Secure the phoenix and secure the game. We finally reached the point where I feel like uh, defense is quite necessary he deals way too much damage uh, when he lands a stun i can actually die for the duration of the stun right now without this so we need defense and i don't feel like my cooldowns are the problem but deterring him from dealing damage on life stealing is a problem since he doesn't have a life steal actually having the mean is very very effective against him and actually postpones his anti-heal even more because he need life steal now let's whoop him start dealing damage Good poke. He has to either clear or fight me. He cannot do both. And that just allows me to walk into the Phoenix range. Unfortunately, no minions. Come on, minion. Let's secure our minion. He had to stun the minion out. I can still chase him. No. He just runs away. We're gonna grab the Phoenix then. Just forcing him into postponing anti-heal as much as we can with our itemization is a really good strat here because he's running out of time. He feels the pressure. Good pillar this time. Got destroyed by Titan but blocked most of my damage. Oh, he jumps in. That's not close enough, my friend. I can box you. Those are thorns. Let's just disengage this time. Let's whoop him. He's in trouble now. He has to ult. Let's age is that. Can we chase? No, we cannot chase, but what we can do is deal a lot of damage into the Titan and allow our minions to get in. Yep, yep, yep. It's going down, my friend. Come on. Are you gonna fight or not? He's doing his best. Titan's gonna reset here, unfortunately. Jumps over. I wanna brace her that and try and fight him instead. Can I still do that? Let's whoop him. Try to run away. Is he gonna chase? Oh, good, good juke. We can still fight him. Looks like he wants to run away and engage me somewhere further from the Titan, but minions are coming in. If you're not gonna fight me, I'm gonna win the game. You either fight man or you run. You cannot do both and expect me not to, to win the game with Titan being just two hits, right? I'm trying to be fun about it and fight him, but if you're gonna run away, that's it.
that was actually entertaining hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed this channel please subscribe if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my videos if you like the video like the video it helps the algorithm and other people to see my content which is much appreciated and as always oh god damn this game actually gave me one mmr that's entertaining and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day